Which activities are most popular in the late 19th century? Can everyone, men and women, young and old, rich and poor, enjoy the same pastimes? Amusements change over time. Between the 1870s and 1900, opportunities for amusement and access to leisure time activities continue to expand. Having fun is no longer just for the rich. Cycling, golf, hockey, billiards, bowling. City dwellers now have many new pastimes open to them, thanks to rapid technical and industrial progress. The development of transportation systems from coast to coast and in the cities allows people to move quickly over great distances. The advent of the popular press means that far more information is now disseminated. With electricity, people can go about their business, working and even playing, day and night. The people of Canada enter a new era, marked by the greater availability of pastimes. But time and money are needed to enjoy them. Most people still work long days and have only a few free hours each week. Workers are increasingly demanding the right to free time, to personal leisure. The new perception of leisure, and especially of physical activity, dates from this period. It is recognized that taking care of one's body is crucial to personal development. The old saying, a healthy mind in a healthy body, is adopted as a guiding principle, and physical activities and sports flourish. Influenced by these changing attitudes, the churches, both Protestant and Catholic, also take an interest in leisure time. As a counterbalance to commercial offerings, a variety of recreational activities are organized in parish halls and church basements under the watchful eye of the clergy. Thus, the churches, in their own way, help democratize access to leisure. 